Hello race fans, welcome back to the E-NASCAR Slide Job Series. We are back for another race. This time we are here for the Super Squad Shake and Bake 500. Here is your starting lineup for today's race. Starting on the front row is teammates in Richard Petty Motorsports. On the poles, the 43 of NASCAR IndyCar. And to the outside of him is the number 44 of Billy Workman. Row number two on the inside. We have the three of DP Games on the inside. And on the outside of him is number 21 of Rusty Brassard. Row three on the inside is the 88 of Anthony Hernandez. And the outside of him is the number 41 of Xavier Robinson. Row number four on the inside is the number 27 of Kyle Danielson. To the outside of him is the number six of Maxwell Fye. Row five on the inside is the 24 of Chris Hughes. And to the outside of him is the number 32 of Super Squad. Row six on the inside is the number eight of Connor Cummins. And to the outside of him is the number 12 of the... Er, in position number 12... In the number 95 car is Dutch Mafia. Row 7 on the inside is the number 59 of Jimmy Tesnair Jr. And to the outside of him is the number 14 of Kyle Morris. Row number 8 on the inside is the number 20 of Julian Beeston. And to the outside of him is the number 47 of Arrow Racing Designs. Row number 9 on the inside is the number 16 of David Hanks, and to the outside of him is the number 13 of A.J. Paxton. Row 10 on the inside is the number 37 of Green Flag Studios, and to the outside of him is the number 17 of Tyler Barclay. Row number 11 on the inside is the number 9 of Cam Clary, and to the outside of him is the number 12 of Ryan Steinberg. Row 12, we have the 33 of Noah Dwister on the inside and the number 48 of Slomotion to the outside. Row 13 is the 42 of Prime Speed. To the outside of him is the number 22 of Dakota Honecker. And rounding up the field for this race in row number 14 is the number 11 of Donald S5150. To the outside of him is the number 1 of your winner at Richmond. Two weeks ago is Creed Daniel. Here is your point standings as of right now heading into this race. A tie right now between Tyler Barclay and Connor Cummins, both with 116 points each. And then third, six points back, is Aero Racing Designs. In fourth is Kyle Morris sitting with 107 points. And then rounding out the top five is Cam Cleary, 16 points back. Yeah, exactly 100 points. Sixth is Dakota Honecker. Then it's Super Squad sitting in seventh. Rusty Broussard is eighth. NASCAR IndyCar is in ninth. And DP Games is rounding, going to round out your top ten in the point standings. Anthony Hernandez and Ryan Steinberg are tied for 11th and 12th. David Hanks and Prime Speed tied for 13th and 14th. 15th is Creed Daniels, 16th Slow Motion, 17th is Chris Hughes, 18th AJ Paxton, 19th Green Flag Studios and Xavier Robinson. Rounds out your top 20. Noah Dwister sits in 21st. Kyle Danielson sits in 22nd. Jimmy Tesner Jr. in 23rd. Dutch Mafia and Julian Beeston are tied for 24th and 25th. Maxwell Fye in 26th. Donald S515 in 27th. And Billy Workman rounds out the field in the point standings. So this is going to be a 47 lap race on the completion of lap number 24. On the completion of lap 24 will be our halfway um, top 10 stage break there. We'll see who our top 10 drivers are. Again, no mandatory cautions. And we'll see if this race will treat us kind of like Daytona, where the winner... Drivers, start your engines. There is your command to start today's race. And like I was saying earlier, 
I hope this doesn't end up like Daytona where people are pitting with like two or three laps to go and then we have to figure out who's uh who's leading towards the end of it in which we found out at that point it was DP Games who played pit strategy pretty well obviously but as the cars come out set to do their pace lap here Once again, there is no guarantee playing playoff spots. The only way to get into the playoffs is finishing in the top 10 in points after the end of the regular season. However, if you win a race, you are guaranteed yourself into the all-star race that will be happening at Eldora Speedway. For the, this is brought to you by the Inslide Lane. It will be happening on August 31st. Right now, into the All-Star Race, guaranteed is the 3 of DP Games, the 43 of NASCAR IndyCar, the 32 of Super Squad, the 47 of Aero Racing Designs, and the 1 of Creed Daniel. Everyone else has to race their way in by virtue of heat races, which the All-Star format will be... Um, will be announced at a later date once we get closer to that. Also on the announcement... In just a few short weeks, the Code Red 600 at Charlotte will be happening uh, May 28th. I am now going to officially take special patriotic paint schemes you guys would like. Well, they don't have to be patriotic. Just special paint schemes you like. Just please don't do any throwbacks because, again, the throw, the actual throwback race will be the last regular season race of the season. So any special paint scheme you want, they can be patriotic, they can be whatever you want, but please send them to me through DM only, either through the Slide Job Series account or or my personal account at meaning devil 56 and here we go green flag is under is out we are underway with the super squad shake and bake 500 And coming around the tri-oval for the first time in this race, it's going to be NASCAR IndyCar leading the first lap of this one. Rusty Broussard going to be sitting in second. DB Games was marked as third, but Anthony Hernandez and Kyle Danielson are going to push him back a little bit. DP Games sits in the high side and is going to lose a couple spots, but he'll sit back in fifth for right now in the number three car. A lot of jostling for positions here as we can all see. And uh, the 16 of David Hanks holding everybody up here. Looks like he blew a motor or something going on. This is a tough break for the Wood Brothers Ford. Oh my goodness. Tough break for the 16 of David Hanks. Couldn't even get a handful of laps complete. Only got one lap completed in this race, and he's going to put it right to the garage, I'm sure. And the 47 of Aero Racing Design, slow. It was like a failure with something. He didn't wreck. 
Tyler Barkley just missed out on that. Wow, a lot of tough breaks going early on here. And now let's try to get caught back up here as NASCAR IndyCar in the 43. Still your leader at this moment. Trying to become the first driver to win his second race of the season. So far, we've only had first time winners. We've had no repeat winners. Billy Workman up and hanging in there in third in the 44 car. He has not had the performance he has been wanting all season long. Right now, sitting in third. As the top four right now is all Chevy. First and third is accompanied by Richard Petty Motorsports, and second and fourth is the is the RCR teammates. So right now NASCAR IndyCar with the lead, Billy Workman in second, and then it kind of jostles on for more position and positioning here. Kyle Morris has worked his way up. Xavier Robinson, his teammate in the 41, trying to see if he can get around the 95 of Dutch Mafia to try to help out his teammate there. Tessner not too far behind his teammate as well. Small little pack there who got caught up a little bit with David Hanks 16 breakdown. So, looks like a failure with the gearbox in the 16 of David Hanks to end his race. But right now coming off of four is the 43 of NASCAR IndyCar with his teammate Billy Workman. So once again, on the completion of lap number 24 will be our top 10 halfway stage. Ending right there. As right now, NASCAR IndyCar, Billy Workman, Anthony Hernandez, Maxwell, Fye, Julian Beeston, Kyle Morris, Super Squad, Dutch Mafia, and Xavier Robinson look like they'll round out your top 10. And Billy Workman up high and dry. No help behind him. Looks like we're going to go three wide. Billy Workman, Super Squad, and Dutch Mafia. Boy. Wow. Super Squad threads the needle through the middle and makes it work. Using the side draft. What a move by the 32 car. And here's another driver that's trying to change his luck around. It's the 6 of Maxwell Fi. Trying to see if he can make something happen. And then here comes a 14 of Kyle Morris looking for his first win of the season. He's always been a threat, but cannot get the win he's looking for. As we go on a little bit further on, we have Green Flag Studios leading this little second pack of cars here. This is there coming up to the tri-oval. Now being led by Cam Cleary in the number nine. And it looks like Aero Racing Designs is back out in the number 47. He is sitting with four laps down right now. So whatever happened with the 47 car just was not working out well to that favor, their favor. And then AJ Paxton, Tyler Barclay, and Creed Daniel. Unfortunately not having good runs here. 
and they got caught up in a couple of miscues. Then the 42 of Prime Speed just setting on by him as long as But it's still all NASCAR IndyCar in the number 43 still leading this race. Looks like the group might, this big pack here might be separating itself from a little bit. Because Julian Beeston's kind of losing out in the draft. Maybe not. He might be catching him. We'll see what happens with that number 20 Toyota. Meanwhile, everyone further up on is NASCAR IndyCar still get, getting help once again with his teammate, the 44 of Billy Workman. And another three wide, a couple three wide battles. It seems to be the high side is not the place to be. Take the higher line, you're gonna lose your ground. Right now it is still all NASCAR IndyCar and the number 43 leading the charge. As they head to the trial for another three wide battle here again. This time it's Tessner, DP, and Danielson with DP getting the worst of that one. So he's going to lose out on that. Dutch Mafia gets around his teammate Jimmy Tesner Jr., but here comes Kyle Morrison, the 14, once again on the inside, but here comes the 8 of Connor Cummins, looking to make something happen. Meanwhile, battle for 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Brassard, Workman, Hughes, and Hernandez, now Super Squad adding to the mix in the 32. And looks like Super Squad might be heading to the pit road. A couple cars well with DP and Julian Beeston. Maybe we're going to see some early on pit strategy. And a few more cars coming down to do so as well. So we'll see how everyone's pit strategy will come into play here. As we are just shy of 10 laps to go for the end of this halfway stage. And it looks like the rest of the cars, except for Maxwell Phi. Maxwell Fly is going to stay out. Let's see how that pit strategy is going to work. Everyone else is going to come in for pit stops by the looks of it here. And looks like Super Squad is the first car out of pit road. Out of all of that. Let's see how all this works out because there's the rest of the lead group of cars. They're coming on pit road right now, and it looks to be Rusty Brassard is going to lead this group. Maxwell Fi comes down for his pit, his pit stop. 
So it looks to be Rusty Brassard going to be the leader of all of this. Coming out of the tri-oval. Still scoring Maxwell Fye as the race leader. And that's not going to happen now. Rusty Broussard is going to be the leader. Chris Hughes in second. We'll see if Maxwell Fye will fall back into third in the number six. Interesting pit strategy he's got. Well, as I say that, the 43 of NASCAR IndyCar is going to go to the outside of him and take third away. So here we go in the completion of lap number 15. It is officially Rusty Broussard, your leader, with Chris Hughes in number 24 in second, NASCAR IndyCar in third, Kyle Danielson in fourth, and DP Games rounds out your top five. Looks like Julian Beeston's now in sixth, five is top for squad eighth, Kyle Morris ninth, and Dutch Mafia tenth, with Anthony Hernandez in eleventh. Billy Workman sitting in 12th with Xavier Robinson in 13th and 14th is Tessner Jr. 15th is Connor Cummins. 16th is Noah DeWister. Schlamotion, Donald, Dakota Honecker, Green Flag Studios, Cam Cleary, Ryan Steinberg, AJ Paxton, Creed Daniel, Tyler Barkley, And I just realized on Prime Speed's car, the Slide Jump Series logo is on one side of the car, but not the other. Major oof there. That's going to be fixed next time. For sure. Meanwhile, Prime Speed, unfortunately for him, he's going to go a lap down to Rusty Brassard. Looks like Connor Cummins and Grief Flag Studios may be working together. I'm not sure yet to try to catch up to the small little pack of cars ahead of them. And three wide NASCAR IndyCar, Kyle Danielson and DP Games. Kyle Danielson prevails out of that one. DP Games is just going to go backwards a little bit here. If he can fall back into place at the right time, he'll be able to stay with the draft in this group. Right now, Rusty Broussard in the number 21 continues to lead the way in the, with 18 laps completed. <clears throat> Six to go left in the halfway, to the halfway break. This looks like we got a little bit of, I guess you could say tandem drafting. As the Connor Cummins kind of lost on the draft of the small pack of cars. Let's see if this move by Slow Motion here is going to pay off in the number 48. As they come into turns three and four, he's going underneath Dakota. He's going to try to get with the 33 of Noah Dwister.
So now we have a single file pack here. As the leaders are going to, well, at least the top two are going to be heading up with the 47 of Aero Racing Designs very shortly here. The current running order right there when they came across the line. Aero Racing Designs going to head into the pits. So here we go, four laps remaining till the halfway stage and Rusty Brassard, still your leader. Chris Houston in second. Looks like the rest of the lead pack of cars have pretty much caught up to the top two with Anthony Hernandez in third, Kyle Danielson in fourth, Julian Beeston in fifth, NASCAR IndyCar in sixth, DP Game seventh, Maxwell Fye in eighth, Kyle Morris ninth, Dutch Mafia in tenth, and Super Squad in 11th. Hopefully he can catch right back up right there because it looks like he's starting to lose out just a little bit. Chris Hughes goes way up high in the number 24. He's going to be going backwards. And be catching up to Tyler Barclay in the number 17. I'd say probably about another couple laps. They'll get to him. And Super Squad in the 32. Losing now on that draft, and Dutch Mafia might be having the same issue in the number 95. And if Chris Hughes and Kyle Morris can get around the 42 of prime speed, they may pull something off. I'm not sure yet. But here we go, as they come around turn four, we're gonna have two laps remaining once they come across the line. And here we go, two to go. Question's gonna be, does Anthony Hernandez or even DP Games have anything for Rusty Brassard to lead at the halfway mark and get those two playoff points. They almost look to go four wide. Wow. Talk about being aggressive there, I guess. But in the meantime, Going to have next time by will be the halfway stage break. Rusty Broussard still leading the charge. Maxwell Fi sitting in second. Anthony Hernandez at the moment sitting in third, but here comes in the 24 with Kyle Danielson following behind him. The 42 of Prime Speed and the 17 of Tyler Barclay will not be considered into the top 10 as they are um, down by one lap. So as they come around to turn, come around turn four, coming into the tri-oval. And it looks to be Rusty Broussard will be the leader of this halfway break. And there it is, your top 10 for the halfway stage. It is Rusty Brassard, the leader with Maxwell Fye in second, Kyle Danielson in third, Chris Hughes in fourth, Andy Hernandez in fifth, Julian Beeston in sixth, DP Games in seventh, eighth was Kyle Morris, NASCAR IndyCar in ninth, and Dutch Mafia to round out your top 10. 11th was Super Squad, 12th was Billy Workman, 13th Xavier Robinson, Jimmy Tesnier Jr. 14th, Noah Dooster, and 15th Slow Motion, and 16th, 17th Green Flag Studios, 18th Donald, 19th Dakota Honaker. 
with 20th being Cam Cleary, Ryan Steinberg in 21st, Connor Cummins 22nd, A.G. Paxton 23rd, Creed Daniel 24th, and then Prime Speed, Tyler Barclay, and Aero Racing Designs to round out the cars that are running right now with David Hanks, obviously with the failure of the gearbox, is out for the race, only completing one lap. Obviously, we'll check with the official scoring at the end of this race. And it looks to be we are going to have our second round of pit stops. We'll see if this, these guys will come in for pit stops as well. Yes, they will. Slow motion's going to play a little bit of a risk game by saying self. And it looks to be DP Games came out of that group. On top there. Maybe wrong. And whoa! Kyle Danielson and NASCAR IndyCar getting involved there. My oh my, what just happened? So we're going to kind of look from right here because it seems to be this is where it was, where it started. And that's all it was. Try to get back onto the, tr onto the track and hold their line and Danielson gets in the car and it goes from there. Our NASCAR Indy car got in the way of Kyle Danielson and went from there. So, looks to be the yellow flag is going to be out. So I guess we will see how this is all going to play out now. Let's see if we can get everyone caught back up here. Creed Daniel real slow in the number one car. Not sure if there's anything wrong with them or not. Or if everyone's just really being that slow. And what the heck? And Rusty Brassard gets involved too. Let's take a look at the 42 of Prime Speed because, whoa. Because, um,
So Prime Speed was just trying to catch up to everyone and and it all went from there. Rusty Bersar collected racing designs in the middle of that too, trying to avoid Chris Hughes. So... Wow. That was something. So now we are trying to figure out who the leader is in all this. My oh my Talladega. And it looks to be Super Squad. This is going down to the pits. Era Racing Designs, NASCAR IndyCar, and Super Squad heading into the pits here. So the leader in all of this They're saying is Maxwell Phi in the number six, which he sits right there. And they're saying Kyle Morris in the 14 is sitting in second. Anthony Hernandez in third, DP Games in fourth. With Julian Beeston in fifth. Rusty Broussard in sixth. Looks like he's got the damage fixed up then they're saying seventh is slow motion all the way up to the front So they're saying seventh is slow motion, even though he's pretty much practic he's practically about a lap down with where everything's going. Dutch Mafia in eighth, Noah Dwooster in ninth, and the twenty-two of Dakota Honecker in tenth. Green Flag Studios in eleventh, Kyle Danielson's in twelfth. Xavier Robinson, 13th. Billy Workman, 14th. Jimmy Tesner Jr., 15th. Donald, 16th. Cam Cleary, 17th. Ryan Steinberg, 18th. Connor Cummins, 19th. A.J. Paxton, in 20th. And he is the last car on the lead lap. Looks like we're going to be going green next time by. This is going to be interesting. So, uh, yeah. Gonna be interesting to see how this all plays out. 
33 laps have been com er, yeah, 33 laps have been completed. 31 laps have been completed. We're about to complete lap 32 to be on lap 33. So this is going to be one interesting um, restart here. And um, again, Maxwell Fi is the leader, I guess, in all of this. So we're heading into the tri-oval. Looking for the green flag once again. And here we go, green flags back out. Going back to racing. So with all that said and done, the three of DP Games is the leader. With Julian Beeston in second, Rusty Broussard sitting in third. Hernandez is in fourth, and the 14 of Kyle Morris is now in fifth as he gets around the sixth of Maxwell Fye. I have no idea. You would have thought the cars ever like oh, that should have been in the back, start restarted in the back, but nope. Let's just restart them in the front. But anyways, and this is what we got to deal with, I guess. Show must go on. You want to use those terms. But the three of DP games is your leader. With Julian Beeson in second. Rusty Broussard is in third. Maxwell Fye is in fourth. Kyle Morris in fifth. This Kyle Morris is not going to look to get to the inside to get fourth back. With Anthony Hernandez in the 88 sitting in sixth. Then it's the one of Creed Daniel. Never mind, could be Billy Workman here in the number 44 as he looks to the inside. And he'll get by. He's in the inside lane there. This big pack of cars are trying to... Stay in the lead lap. Biggest issue at the moment is the three of DP games and the guys behind him. They're all catching up with this big pack of cars here. Which means big potential of having all these guys going a lap down. Next time by, we will have 10 laps remaining.
Not sure if this is how the whole shake and bake deal works here, but uh, I guess in this series it does. Really shake things up. But anyways, 10 laps to go. Right now, DP Games is your leader. Julian Beeston in number 20 is sitting in second. Third is Kyle Morris. Fourth is Maxwell Fye. Fifth is Anthony Hernandez. Rusty Broussard sits in six. You can see a little bit of damage still in that number 21 car, but somehow he's keeping his own. The 95 of Dutch Mafia is in seventh. Camp Cleary looks to be eighth right now. Tyler Barclay in ninth, and A.J. Paxton, I guess in the 13, is going to be tenth. And new leader, the 20 of Julian Beast in another drive to turn his, trying to turn the season around. At least make an attempt at doing so. A crazy battle going on toward there. My goodness. A couple cars heading down to Pitt Road. It's the one. The, it's Creed Daniel, Green Flag Studios, and Dakota Honecker. Steinberg, Kyle Morris, and Anthony Hernandez heading into the pits as well. I think we just saw a slow car head down there. Yeah, Kyle Danielson in the 27. May be having some issues here. So this is going to be interesting to see how everything's going to be played out for the end of this. Because we're going to have seven laps remaining. Once the leader comes across the line, right now the leader's being technically scored as the 20 of Julian Beeston. So we'll just kind of keep an eye out for right now just to see where everything's going to be played out. I get cuz I guess we're going to have a third round of third or fourth round of pit stops. I don't even know what round of pit stops we're on. It's been that crazy. Maybe we can get things back to normal with all of this going on. So it's being said that the 21 of Rusty Broussard is the leader at this moment. We're going to have five laps to go here. So I hope we can quickly figure things out in the normal manner.
boy oh boy oh boy <clears throat> as this is a little fun battle here Dutch Mafia Kim Cleary and AJ Paxton not 100% sure if that's for positioning or what further on behind him is Barclay Green Flag Studios Dakota Honecker Creed Daniel DP Games joining in the fray he's going to look to make a 3 Y, but going to play it safe instead So, currently stating that the 20 of Julian Beeston is the leader still. Yes, we have five laps to go. With Rusty Brassard was being scored as second. With DP Games in third. So we have four laps left. DB Games is being scored in second. Beeston's still the leader. Maxwell Fies in third. St. Rusty Brassard in the 21s in fourth. With Kyle Morris in fifth. Anthony Hernandez sixth. This is Noah, Noah Dwister is in seventh. Donald's in eighth. Dutch Mafia first car a lap down is ninth with saying AJ Paxson was scored tenth, but Cam Cleary got around him, so Cam Cleary's gonna be rounding out the top ten. So uh, here we go, final three laps in this race. Again, this is wild race. Welcome to Talladega. And let's check all of this out back here. Is this is mainly where a lot of positioning is going on. DP Games not fighting for position really in this group. Because the next car behind him, which is third, is Maxwell Fine. He's just coming out of the tri oval now. So Julian Beeston's coming down the back stretch in the number 20 car. Coming into turns three of four. With just under a lap and a half remaining. Here in this super squad, Shake and Bake 500. And I'll put the big emphasis in Shake because since that caution, a lot of things were shooken up. Coming out of the trial for the white flag. One more time around for the 20 of Julian Beeston. Coming down the back stretch here for the last time. And it turns three and four. Coming into the tri-oval to take the checker flag. The number 20 of Julian Beeston will pick up the win here in the Super Squad. Shake and Bake 500 at Talladega. Second's going to be DP Games. Third 
It's going to be Maxwell Fai. Rusty Brassard's going to finish fourth. Kyle Morrison, the 14, going to be coming around the trioval to finish fifth. Anthony Hernandez will be sixth. Seventh is going to be no Dwister. Eighth is Donald. First car, one lap down. Then Dakota Honecker is going to be ninth. Creed Daniel rounds out the top ten. And there's the rest of your finishing order there. So thank you guys so much for watching this crazy race. Make sure you follow the series at slide job underscore series. Also follow my Twitter at Manion Double 56. And subscribe to this channel for more races like this. Have a good night.